Good afternoon everyone. It's another beautiful day outside and the sun is so ganda, ganda ng araw. And alam niyo ba ngayon ginagawa na yung kalsada sa labas. So hey, hey salamat. It's been a very long time that we've been praying for it. And I think ngayon na matutupad yung aming pong pangarap dito na um, cementado na. Oh, actually cementado naman siya but tataasan na yung kalsada para hindi na kami nababahari. So, well, um, yung, at least yung daanan. Oh, anyway, how are you doing today? Housework? House life? House school? Ano ba ang meron ka ngayong araw na to? The last question I'll be asking you is, how's your heart? Kamusta ba? How's your journey with God? Are you walking with Him? Realizing the things that we need to do? Has He clothed you yet? If you're not yet fully convinced about your work with God or your walk with God and you don't know what to do, now, Continue to watch this series because we will continue to uh, tackle what God wants us to do or what we need to do in order for us to walk according to God's will so that we will arrive to our destination which is the promised land. And before we start our, our devotion today, of course, pray muna tayo. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, sa napakagandang araw. Salamat Panginoon sa mga biyaya na patuloy niyong pinapadala para sa amin sa kaligtasan, sa pag-iingat, at higit sa lahat, Lord, sa inyong pagmamahal. Na patuloy niyo pong pinaparamdam sa amin sa bawat takda ng aming buhay. Salamat Panginoon sa bagong uh, pag-asa, bagong buhay na binigay niyo sa amin itong araw na ito. Nawa po Panginoon na sa araw-araw na dudugtong niyo sa aming buhay, eh, maging makahulugan po ito, makabuluhan. Dahil ito po ay i-spend namin sa paghahanap at paggagawa ng paraan na maaaring um, yung ikakagligayan yung paraan, Lord God. Because all these things here on earth are nothing without you. Let all the things that we do is for you alone and let it be sweet-smelling savor of sacrifice acceptable for you. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Uh, today our verse is found in Exodus chapter 20. Kahapon chapter 20 verse 23. Ngayon naman, ang itatakal natin is actually yung mga sumunod na verses. No? Our letter L for today is lessons. So, I was actually earlier parang ina, ano, ano ba, lessons ba talaga? O punta tayo, talun tayo sa chapter 21 when it says laws. The law of Moses and the commands of God. So the commands of God and actually he created laws pa, ganun ganon but I was thinking, an, paano ba it differentiate? When, when I came to a conclusion on how, what's the difference between a command and a law, I was mesmerized because ang difference pala nito is yung command, yun yung inutos no may authority. At yung laws, yun yung mga gagawing paraan o gagawing mga guidelines for that command to be fulfilled para magawa ito. Like, for example, Love your neighbors, love your ganto, kung ano yung utos, ito, ito gagawin natin. So, if, if you love your neighbors, so dapat ito mga gagawin mo, ito yung mga guidelines natin. So, how wonderful it is. But, pero hindi eh. Ang nakita natin, ang binigay na words sa atin ni Lord ngayon is yung lessons. Basahin natin in chapter 20, Exodus chapter 20, verses 5 and 6. Sabi niya dito, You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. If you look at the Ten Commandments, meron siyang sinasabi. Dito, siguro natututo yung mga Israelites about the lessons of God. Bakit nga ba lessons of God? Maybe, at this time, ngayon hindi natin masabi, no? Na, na, uh, Kasi ngayon may Bible na, alam na natin kung ano yung sinulat, paano nangyari yung creation. Maybe at the time, they don't have the 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 um, the um creation yet. They don't have a book that's... Um, hindi ko masabi, no? Kasi I'm not really sure if, if there is already written at that time or not. Pero, you see, God is teaching them. Kaya ang sinasabi niya, ayoko na magkaroon kayo ng ibang gods, ha? I'm a jealous God. So they were, they were learning from what God is saying. The lessons from that, why is it that you need to love God or do not have other gods? So, sabi niya, bow down. Do not bow down. Sabi niya, 
You shall not bow down to them or worship them for I. Basahin ko yung, chapter four, uh, yung verse 4 para maintindihan natin. Ano ba yung sinasabi niya dito na ano? 3 and 4 basahin ko. 3, sabi niya, in verse 3, You shall not have other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven or in earth, on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. So God is a jealous God. So, you think that this God is a very loving God. This God gives you whatever it is that you want. You think that this God is someone na, uh, ah, pag nagreklamo tayo, sige, bibigyan naman tayo niyan. Pag nagreklamo tayo, alam mo, pinakita ni God dito. And they learned at that time that God was a jealous God based on the commandment that God has written. Hindi lang doon. Kung titingnan natin yung mga susunod pang verses, hmm, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuse this this. So, oh, ito na naman. Ako, baka sa atin, madalas tayo pag, pag nagulat. Diyos ko po! Kung sino-sino na ng mga natawag. Eh. Sabi dito, don't use the name of God in vain. Isa sa mga commandments, no? Do not. Sabi niya, shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. For the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses Him's name. So, natututo tayo. Natuto sila na baka naman at that time, meron na din sila, ugali natin na pag, Diyos ko po, na binigat sa kanila, nako, wag, ayoko na gamitin yung pangalan ko ng walang kakwenta-kwenta lang. So yung mga commands ni God, hindi lang siya natatapos sa command, but He explains why is it that He's giving us these commandments. And if you'd look at this, babasahin natin yung buong Ten Commandments until verse 17, may kita natin doon na talagang meron siyang mga um, reasons kung bakit, no? Ito, chapter 8. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, nor your manservant or maid maidservant, nor your animals, nor the alien with... Dami, no? Talagang, in for in the sixth day the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and I and made it holy. So, kung hindi pa nga nila alam o hindi pa nasusulat yung Ten Commandments at this, at this time, ah, yung, no, not the Ten Commandments, but the creation of the world, ano na mga sila dito? Ay, ganun ba? Dapat pala keep holy talaga? Kasi, at this time, prior to this, there were no commands yet, so I can say that wala lang. Every Sunday or every Sabbath day, gawa lang sila kung anong gusto nilang gawin kasi there's no such law. Diba? So, you see, the commands of Moses, the commandments of God, are really meant. Una is to clot us para alam natin, para malaman natin kung ano yung direction natin. And pangalawa is for us to learn the things that we don't learn, the things that we think are right, na hindi pala tama ito para sa panangin ng Diyos. And you see, what are the things in your life right now that you think are correct? Na akala mo, ah hindi, kasi ito nakasanayan ko na ito. Uh, simula ng pagkabata ako, ganito na eh. Ito na yung, ano ko, hindi na talaga mabago-bago yan. Ito na yung paniniwala ko, yun na talaga. And as you read the Bible, what are those things being revealed to you that's not in accordance to the law of God? Masyado pa maaga? If masyado pa maaga, well, my friend, just continue to seek the Word of God and you will find out that there are some practices that we've been practicing before na hindi naman pala naayon sa gusto ng Diyos. There's a lot of things. Kaya nga, mga gulat ka, mag-aano tayo, ah, yung mga, mga, mga born again na yan, yung mga ganyan, walang respeto yan sa ating kasaysayan dahil hindi nila sinusunod ang mga katuruan. So, maybe they just learn. Maybe they just learn. And maybe we should also learn from them. Tayo ng mga tao, we should learn from them by reading the words of God and that we will find out what is it that really, what is it that God really wants to say? What is the real teachings of God? Kasi kung hindi natin ito sasaliksikin at babasahin lang natin kung anong pinipili ng mga tao na basahin para sa atin, there will, we will be missing out a lot of things. Alam mo, kapatid, there are more than 3,000 pages sa Bible. It depends on the Bible. 
There are 66 books. Kaya pabasahin mo to araw-araw, buong buhay mo. Kung every, hindi mo to, matatapos mo to, yes, matatapos mo siya, but yung pagbulay-bulayan talaga isa-isa. Hindi. Kasi every time that you read the Bible, even if you already read about it, the next time that you read it, you will have a different definition, a different conviction from God. Kaya, if you're contented in just hearing the words of God every Sunday, it's not enough. If you're content in just listening to these preachings every afternoon, it's not enough. It's a lifelong process because pag nabasa mo siya, it will be applied to your life. You need to apply it. At hindi naman yun yung isang click, apply na agad. Dahan-dahan mo ma-apply yan. Dahan-dahan. Kaya nga mga kapatid, merong ibang mga tao na pag nakita mo, parang ah, hilaw pa masyado yan, ganun-ganun. Maybe kasi pilit. Kaya kapatid, hindi natin kailangan ipilit. Kaya if you're struggling, wanting to, and trying to please God, you can't please God. We can't. Let me just give you this reality that we can't please God because we are sinful in nature. Talaga wala tayong kakayanan. Kahit anong gawa pa gawin natin, magpakabait ka man dyan, ibenta mo man lahat ng ari-arian mo, we can never please Him if God, if Jesus is not in your heart. You want to say, kaya nga sinasabi, that our salvation is through faith and grace. Sa pamamagitan ng grasya ng Diyos. Hindi sa pamamagitan ng pag ating sariling gawa dahil mapagyayabang natin to Bakit ko ba sinabi o bakit ba nasabi na faith and grace? Kasi grasya ito ng Diyos na binigay para sa atin na sa pamamagitan ng kanyang anak. Faith, kasi kailangan natin itong pagkatiwalaan kahit wala tayong proof. Kasi kung wala kang faith at hindi mo pagkakatiwalaan itong grasya na binigay ng Diyos, then salvation is nothing. If you need to have proof about the existence of Jesus Christ and the existence of your faith, then it's not faith that you're looking for, but you're looking for evidence. Our life is a life, uh, our walk with God is a lifelong lesson. Every now and then we will encounter something na maaari tayong, oops, teka lang, bakit ganun? Oops, teka lang, bakit ganun? Oops, teka lang. Oh, bakit si pastor ganito ugali? Bakit ganito si, ano, mga kapatid? Hindi kasi dapat ganun eh. Even these pastors, kami, we're still learning. And I don't expect us to be, ako, I can really say na siguro, meron pa sa inyo na mas magagaling para sa akin. Na may, may ano, ako, never kong inisipan sarili ko na magaling. May mga times na naiisip ko, ang galing ko magsalita, ang galing ko. Pero, alam mo, nahahambol ako agad ni God. Narealize ko, ah, hindi ko naman pala talaga alam yun. Kung wala si God na nag-explain ito. Right now, sa church, I'm, I'm tasked in, in uh, saying or preaching about the life of Jabez. The Jabez only appeared in the Bible for two verses. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. And yet, I'll be teaching it for the whole month. Kaya nung, nung eto yung nakuha ko, actually it's bigla itong pumasok kasi ginamit siya sa prayer during one of our intercede prayer in the morning na nakwento yung life. And I was amazed kasi naalala ko si Jay Jabez, eto yung pangalan na laging binabanggit ng boss ko dati pa, back in 2002. Tapos biglang, oh nga, no, hindi ko ito napag-aralan dati. No, when I tried to look for it, wala akong makita. Talawang verse lang talaga and tapos biglang sabi, Bigla na naging impression ko na ito ituro ko. Ito ituro. Two verses. You see, there are really a lot of lessons in life that we will learn unless we walk with God and unless we clothe ourselves with God's Word. Mga kapatid, if you're still having second thoughts, I can't blame you. How many times have I had second thoughts about God? How many times... Have I realized my selfish and uh, uh, entitled nature? Hindi, mas mabait ako dyan. Kaya mas okay ako dyan. Kinukumpara ko lagi sarili ko sa ibang tao. And I always try to compare myself those people who are worse than me. Para ma-justify ko sarili ko. Ah, hindi. Siya nga, hindi nagsisimba eh. Ako sisimba ko. Umiinom man ako palagi, pero ako nag- nagsisimba. Iba nga dyan. Inom na inom, hindi naman nagsisimba eh. Ako nagsisimba. Laging ganun. Lagi ako may comparison. Until such time that I learn. 
and I was clothed by God. Huwag mong ipilit ang sarili mong damit sa journey natin kay God. Dahil pagdating natin doon, kung hindi ka nakadamit, blemished, unblemished, yun ang gusto ng Diyos. Yung puting-puti, white as snow. If you face God, punong-puno ng dumi, o nakapang party-party dress ka, well, I don't know what will happen. And I don't have the um, audacity to try and judge you. Kasi ako, kahit i-judge ko man sarili ko, talagang wala akong kwenta. It's only through the grace of God that I'm living right now. It's only through the grace of God that kahit dami naming utang, we have at, we're at peace. And it's only through the, praise of, through the grace of God that we're able to live day by day. Our lives struggling, but full of love, full of grace, and full of the Spirit. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for today. Thank you very much for your words. Lord, help us to learn. Tanggalin niyo po, Lord, yung mga selfish nature namin, yung pagka self-entitled namin, and self-righteous namin na para bang alam na namin lahat. We're doing great. We're doing good. Okay lang naman. Accepted niyo naman. Lord, clot us to the way that you really want us to be clot. So that we may appear before you, all those sinners, but renewed by you. All those sinful, but cleansed by you. Although unworthy, but raised by you. Father, yung mga tao po na hindi pa nakakilala sa inyo, I pray that you use my message or this message, Lord God, that they will know you and start to have a relationship with you. Let your will be done in our lives. Clot us, Lord, in accordance to how you want us to be clot and bring us to where you want us to be. And that is beside you in heaven someday. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope tomorrow you'll watch again. Tomorrow we'll be at the letter O. What's the letter O? Huh? Grabe. And you know that this this thing that I'm doing right now is more than a year now. Grabe, and just now, who would have thought that we will be doing these daily devotions for more than a year? But praise God, not me. It's the glory of God. Because these teachings that I'm getting, it's not from me. It's from God. So all glory and praise be to God alone. God bless you. Bye-bye.